genuinely asking, because I'm not even sure. I just know that it changed. Emery, I saw your hand up first. Um, so every time you have, you have to remember this pedigree, so you go to Ms. Hosting, so you have to go to Ms. Hosting and get Ms. Pedigree. So ELA and social studies are switched, that's it. Yep. Okay. Thank you for letting us know. So, guys, in math, one of the big things that we need to be able to do is describe things. Whether we're, like, trying to tell people, like, how to draw something or tell people how to do work or tell people, like, like who's got an older or younger sibling here? Who's got brother, sister, somebody at home? Or maybe, like, cousin, maybe a nephew, a niece, or an aunt and uncle. If you were describing ages... I might say my sister is two years older than me. Who's younger in that situation? With what I just said. My sister's two years older than me. Who's younger? Yeah. Me. So I was writing Abby. I might write A equals me plus two. Right? Because she is two years older than me. So that's what we're going to practice today. So if you look at 93... It has two situations about marbles, and if you've never played marbles, I know it sounds like kind of very simple and silly, but like it's actually pretty fun. When you when you actually play marbles, you have like a big marble that you're using as your shooter, and you're trying to knock other marbles out of the ring, kind of like sumo wrestling, but with marbles. So I want you to turn to your neighbor and try to figure out how to write this out in like a mathematical equation of like, if it's Maria has, we're probably going to do something like Emmy. If it's about Dahlia has, it's probably going to be D equals, right? So we have two different situations. You might draw like a line on your paper or something. Two different situations that we want to talk about. We want to try to start writing these on our paper. And then, of course, I'm going to use random cards to try to get some help from you guys. So take like a minute or two, talk to each other. If you get done with that one, feel free to move on to the next one. So there should be talking. It hurts my feelings like I'm the most boring thing in the world. Otherwise, what your body will do is show that you actually maybe give a crap about what we're doing. Alright, let's shuffle up since it's a Monday. Alright, I would give you guys more time if it sounded like you need more time, but the only people that seem to be working together are Donna and Jack. So, Kamal, what I highlighted in green, how could I write that out? Could I put them together? If somebody tells you Maria has 15 marbles, how would we mathematically write that? I think you're trying too hard. Then maybe I'm asking the question poorly. Maria has 15 marbles. Guys, you have highlighters in your bins if you want to get colored pencils. Or like, I would highlight your notes so you actually get some benefit out of them. You're 100% not going to Yeah, you're, you're like, just... How you face, how your body looks, makes me feel like this is the worst place you could possibly Like true body language? Yeah. That'll and be. some of you, it's your actual language, or how you say things. So Donna, what about when I highlight in blue? What about when I highlight in blue? Who has left? Who? Wait, this. When this says this, who's this? So like, Maya's like a mouse, a ten-legged man. Guys, on your paper, this is talking about Myra's marbles. Hopefully she hasn't lost her marbles. Some days I feel like I've lost my marbles. 
This is talking about Myra's. So Myra's marbles are 10 less than Dahlia. Myra's marbles. Now, how could I write 10 less than Dahlia? And guys, I'm telling you, this is one of the trickiest things. If you are not listening right now and you're just trusting what you wrote down, there's about a 50-50 chance what you wrote down is wrong. This is a huge trap door for seventh graders every year. How do I write Jack that Myra has 10 less than Dolly? That's not what I like asked. How do I write just what's in blue? I'm ignoring what I have in green now. How do I write Myra has 10 less than Dahlia. Now give it another shot, you're gonna move on. Lane, how do I write Myra has, I've already got the Myra has, how do I write 10 less than? Minus 15, I mean minus 10. What minus 10? 15 minus 10. 10. Are you guessing or are you thinking? We already have M equals. We're writing about Myra has 10 less than Dahlia. Sophie? <laughs> Guys, if you wrote 10 minus D, that is wrong. It is D minus 10, because we need to do 10 less than, and this is not less than like the little alligator symbol. That is less than as in take away from something. If you're not writing anything down right now, I am expecting you to end up progressing on this next mini mastery. So yeah, we're gonna have another mini mastery before we actually, actually, I might not even get a full chapter mastery. We might just have a couple of minis and just that do that. Ezekiel? I have a question, so I will know what I wrote because I wrote D equals and I wrote the I did that too. So if we go to think about how many marbles does Dahlia have, Dahlia, uh, it's a little tough to see. Okay, Dahlia, oh wait, Myra has 15 marbles. This is 10 less than Dahlia. So if Myra has less than Dahlia, if Myra has less than Dahlia, Dahlia has more than Myra. So D equals M plus 10. But guys, we also need to be able to write this out. Like we have to be able to write this. So yeah, this is right, that D equals M plus 10 but we have to be able to write it the other way also. Now the different situation, I would draw a line if I was you, different situation, try number two. See if you can write out the expression they tell us from number two. That's different. Try this out. Put avoiding the tough stuff. Apparently, Myra still has 15, but something has changed. Uh-oh. Devin, what's different here? Dahlia has lost this one. So guys, when they tell us Dahlia has, how do I mathematically write Dahlia has? Just anybody. D, D equals. D equals. Dahlia has. D equals. Here's what D is. Dahlia has. D equals. Now, what does she have? So, Devin, can you help me write what comes after the D equals? Um, equals M. Plus 5. We're trying to write this. So forget about the first statement, like we're just trying to write out what's in blue now. How do I write Dahlia has 10 less than Myra? It's okay, it's fast. Bethany? Uh, it's fast. 10 less than? I need something to take 10 away from. 10 less than what? Less than Myra. Questions on what we wrote. Then if we know what M is, I, I can figure out the other stuff from knowing what M is. 
but we need to work on writing those like less than statements. Those are really tricky, guys. If somebody has, so my age is two years less than my sister. So my age, right, if I was trying to write that out, my age is my sister's age minus two. Right, my age is two years less than, less than what? Less than my sister, right? Well, would 50 want to start with two? Yeah, but. We want to practice writing it with the variables, Washington. then we would switch it to 15 Washington. minus 10. So yeah, let's practice writing it with those variables. Ellie's building a dollhouse. Check this out on your paper. Highlight whatever you need, underline whatever you need. See if you can mathematically write out something that they tell us. Like let's write it out with letters, numbers, equal signs, pluses, minuses. This one's tougher, but do not avoid it. Do something. Underline. Highlight. Assign a variable. Assign a couple variables. Sophia, tell me something we could give to something. So long, well first off, we're going to try to use variables or like letters here. What could you call the long board? Yeah, let's call the long board L. And likewise, let's call the short boards S, now be careful with your S's. Please make sure they don't look like fives. That's one of the biggest issues that we have is S's versus fives. Once we start working with S's, or you're gonna have to avoid using S. I had to avoid using S because it was just better for me. So I do want L, B, and S, B. You don't want to use two letters because L, B would be a line segment from L to B. So you would really rather just use a single letter. Really good question. All right, so now, Carolina, what did they tell us about the long board? Are you sure that's exactly what they said? It's seven inches longer than three of the short boards together. So now we're going to rewrite L equals... L equals what? You still with me, Carolina, or am I going to move on? Move on. Matt, how can I write seven longer? I, let's just break this up piece by piece. How do I write seven longer than? Yeah, that's our plus seven, but crap. To do plus seven, I, I got to have something to add seven with. What am I going to add seven onto? 3S. Absolutely. It could go either way. Now, 3s plus 7 is slightly better. Just because, like, as you get deeper in math, it's better to write it with the variable number first. And then they tell us, I forget if this is on your paper. I don't think it is. Then they tell us something in part C. What do they tell us in part C up here? It's not on your paper. Ooh, Sophie? So wait a minute, they just told us this, 3s plus 7, is 50. I want you to turn to your neighbor and see if you can figure out how we could determine what the short board is from what they told us. Uh, I'll get right back there, actually. I've got the USB things on that. 
power outlet. Yeah, it's three of the short molds. It was seven longer than three of the short molds. If you don't know, just take the air freshener out. If you don't know what to do, let's draw a picture. We've got three short boards and an extra seven. Short board, short board, short board plus seven, all of that together equals 50, right? Three S, so each of these is S, 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 plus seven. Raiden, you got an idea of what I could do to start kind of working my way backwards? Hold on, pause, don't do too much. Raiden said let's get rid of this extra seven on the end and then I can just line up my three short boards, but now instead of 50, if I got rid of that extra seven, what do we have now? 43. And that's still equal to what over here? That's still equal to our three short boards, right? You wanna keep going or you wanna move on? Yeah, it is a gross number, isn't it? So wait, 14.3 repeating. You know what's better than that? No. This fraction is the exact answer. 14 and one third. This guy's a habit. You need to get it, or not really a habit, just something that you need to learn is that a third is 0.3 repeating. 0.3 repeating is a third. A third is 0.3 repeating. So if you see a 0.3 repeating, you know that's really a third. Now I'll be honest, you probably won't find a measuring tape with thirds on it. What fractions do measuring tapes tend to use? Uh, 12 feet. No, the fractions, like when we're talking inches, what fractions? The even ones, it's like halves, fourths, eighths, sixteenths. It's like the even ones. You probably wouldn't find a third on a measuring tape. Yeah, this one's not on your paper. While I'm passing out, um, I want you guys to try to figure out how many cookies are in each box in 96C. If the two different rectangles have the same number of cookies, how many cookies are in each box? If the two rectangles are equal, ignore what I'm about to put on your desk. We'll talk about it in a minute. How many cookies are in each box? Ignore this. We'll talk about it in a minute. So if you I think I do need one more to take home and work on or whatever, so I think you have this and maybe put it somewhere. The chapter five mini ministry. Reminder, my morning work sessions are a thing, and they tend to be helpful. I want to celebrate. We had someone coming now, like, they're on a streak now because they came last week and they came this week. This one gave you earlier if you want to pull it back out since we're going to talk about the common mistakes and everything. 
And actually, I think I'm going to stop my video and start a new one so you guys don't have to search through the video for me. All right, everyone should have a Chapter 5 Mini Mastery back in front of them, except for Raiden and Sophie, and I already talked with them about that. Real quick, before we move on to that, let's talk cookies, though. Anyone figure this out? No. How could we, because we're practicing writing uh, like expressions and equations, how could we talk about what's in the left rectangle? Well, safe. What's in the left rectangle? How many boxes? Uh, three boxes. Three boxes. And two extra cookies. We say that that is equal to, Jane, what's in the right rectangle? Um, one box and 20 extra cookies. Arfon, what could I take out of both of those rectangles? Sure. Yeah, Arfon wants to take two cookies that are extra over here and two of these extra over there. So we could show minus two is happening on both sides. Guys, it'll help you a lot if you're writing this down right now. Or if you don't care to help yourself, I can't make you care. I can't make you believe that your homework will be easier if you do this. So now my right side has a box and 18 leftover cookies. Ashley, what could I take away now from both rectangles? Yeah, I could take a box away from both rectangles. So if I take a box away, that's like minus 1B. So how many boxes are left on the left? Two boxes. How many cookies are left on the right? And if two boxes is 18 cookies, how many cookies are in each? Anybody? Six, seven, nine, eight. Wait, nine. Uh, if we divide by two, hi guys, I don't know if any of you are Girl Scouts, and sorry if you are. The Girl Scouts got to stop this inflation. There are less cookies in the box than there used to be, and they're more expensive than they used to be. But yeah, if you only sell me nine cookies in a box, I'm probably going to be upset. But that's how many cookies are in these boxes, according to the math we just did. All right, let's talk about the mini mastery. Yes. But doesn't it fall into time demand? Doesn't everyone want a uh, cookie? I mean, quite frankly, I don't really care about the cookies. I care about supporting the young scouts. Because I was in Boy Scouts and selling popcorn was how I went to camp. But I feel like stuff has gotten crazy. What's up? Yes. All right, look at your mini mastery. Progressing was the overwhelming grade that people received, and it's because of an overwhelming common mistake that people made, which I would feel bad about, except I know I taught you this. Everybody look at your test right now, but we're not doing corrections. I'm just going to point you the right direction, so you might want those highlighters out still. You might want your uh, pencil out to be able to write things. What is the sale where Marty buys this coat. And I'm not going to start a new recording because that's going to take me too long. So by the way, if you go to find this later, it's just going to be within this recording. Um, how many minutes in? We're 23 minutes in. So go to 23 minutes and you'll find probably more like 24 minutes, honestly. All right. In the top shelf back there, but the second one over. So just to the right of the Math 7 sticker. What is the sale that Marty is shopping? Lane, what's the sale? 20% off. Hey, guys. Off. What percent does that mean is on? Guys, at a 20% off sale, that means that it's 80% on. And the amount that you pay is that 80%. He paid $72 after 20% off. That $72 
is the 80%. So if you want to like write down a, a note that will help you with this, uh, like this correction, that $72 is the 80%. And just like what we did over on the whiteboard, once you know 80%, you could work your way down to 10% and then back up to 100%. Part B, exactly the same. $56 after the 20% off sale. So that does not mean that 56 is your 20%. That means 56 is your what percent? Your, um, 80. Yeah, this is your 80%. Because a lot of you fell in the same trap door. And trust me, I remember the lesson that I taught you of if it's this percent off, what percent on? Emery? <coughs> yeah, you did the common mistake that everyone did that we're not going to keep talking about. Wait, moving on. Sorry, we're moving on. Part C. 40% full and has 32 gallons. Most of you got this one correct because these two numbers go with each other. There, this percent I gave you is the 32 gallons. So if you were going to try to like draw this out, 10%. 20%, 30%, 40%. So this, sorry, I should have stopped right here. That is our 40%, and that would also be our 32 gallons. Moving on to the bottom part, the bottom values are percentages. Hey, guys, everyone look up here real quick. How many spaces is the X um, like kind of looking at? Two of those spaces. So many people fell in the trap door of saying one, two, three. Oh, this is 30%. No, it's how many gaps, how many spaces, how many jumps. And each of those is 10%. So that's 20%. Now, likewise... Up here, if you wanted to do this, what percent is your 64? That is 40%. Once you know that, you can figure out your 10%. And that'll help you figure out what goes up here. Guys, why? You need to write the number. Please don't shout it out. But you need to write the number, not the percentage. The numbers go on top. The percents go on bottom. In part B... If your total is 150, so if you found one back there, right? Just making sure. If your total is 150, can you figure out what you're missing up here? Yeah, do a subtraction. And also, if we know 150 is our 100%, could you work your way back to 10%? Yeah. So just a suggestion of what direction to go there. Guys, I'm going to give you a minute to grab graph paper and give it a header and stuff before you get out of here. Any other big questions from the front before I move on? So now, Emery, if you want to ask something, but don't just retell me what you did wrong. A lot of us made that same mistake. I think you should just start over and forget what you did before. Nope, I'm not going to let you tell people what to do. Sorry. Come discuss that with me if you want. But so you're going down the road of telling people what to do. I need to know that they know what to do. That's why I'm not telling you guys what to do. I'm giving you a push in how to start the problem. A lot of us did really well on the back, which tells me probability makes sense in your brain and percent work needs practice, right? So the front, expect more practice like this because what you guys showed me is we need more practice with this even though it's up on the whiteboard. Like literally, you can just look at it right now. Biggest mistakes. Um, I mean, really, there weren't any big mistakes from number three. 
And number four, uh, double check your total. If you got this one wrong, double check your total. C was the biggest. Okay, before we get down to there, in part B, next draw will not be blue. Some of us didn't read that quite carefully. The next draw will not be blue. So essentially all of the ones that are not blue over your total. Part C, this was the most missed part. How many green are in this bag right now? What is our probability of green as it sits right now? Look on your own paper. Don't wait for someone to tell you. Two is not a probability. Two can be how many green there are. What's the probability two out of 10 because our total is 10? If we were to do this a total of 70 more times, where should that 70 go if that's going to be the total of what we do? On the bottom. So if we're going to do this a total of 70 more times, how many would we expect to be green? Well, that's math that I think you can do. Um, this was a fun one, the mistakes that are on here, because I bet some of us are going to facepalm on this one. I'm like, oh, come on, I knew that. Even numbers, I hope I don't have to remind you of. Greater than 4. Hey, guys. To be greater than 4, is 4 greater than 4? No. Greater than 4 is only 5, 6, 7, 8. Who do we appreciate? Uh, some of you probably don't appreciate me right now. And then number 6. This one should not be difficult if you have your reference page that lays out like what a deck of cards looks like. Mine is upside down right now and yours is tall. This is just my version from a couple years ago because I've given away my other ones. So if you have lost yours somehow, you're going to want to get another one of these unless you know what a standard deck of cards is. Um, but as long as you have that, that should not be that bad. So right now, if you had a progressing on that, I would get a piece of graph paper. I would label it Chapter 5 Mini Mastery Revisions, and I would spend the next three minutes getting as much done as you can. Unless people are actually keeping graph paper in their binder, I should see people moving to get graph paper right now. Well, yeah, but a different piece because for your corrections, right? For your test corrections. What's up? Here, I'll stop the recording because this just gets awkward then.